This past week has been another busy one for us as we finished up a bunch of little projects in preparation for bigger ones. As expected though, we hit a few snags along the way. Was that supposed to happen? No. So if it seems like this week's video is all over the place, well, it's because it is. <laughs> and that's exactly how we felt while in the midst of it. But if nothing else, just skip, fast forward, or watch until just before the four minute mark to see an incredible display of the Northern Lights as they danced across the sky all night long. We promise it is worth it. Okay, we are back. It is the next day. And, um, we are just trying to get some little odds and end, ends buttoned up. Um, Ted was getting the smoke detectors and the CO2 alarms yeah, all it. hooked up. <gasps> I keep putting them in the wrong spot. What does it matter? If I don't put it in the right spot, then the... Uh... No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See how confusing it is? So if you put it in the wrong spot, what happens? Then the smoke detector isn't upright. The words aren't right the side words up? Aren't right side. <laughs> Got a couple of outlets still. The outside outlets need. I needed weather resistant outlets that I did not. Or Picked those up had. yesterday with the kids. And then we'll just bring the flooring in, get that acclimated, and then we can start that tomorrow. I keep screwing up this video take, and she's ended up having to haul in all the flooring by herself, and she just called me out on it too. But other than that, we're just gonna put all the face plates on and we possibly, are we gonna get to the ceiling fans? I would think we'd be able to, depends on how fast you can put the face plates on. <laughs> just odds and ends that it just, it adds up. Every little Every thing, thing takes time and, but it all needs to get done. So we're slowly picking away at it. Yep. That's what we're doing today. That's what we're doing today. Dear Lord, thank you so much for today. We thank you for this time. Okay, the ceiling fans are in and now we have moved outside to get these outdoor weather resistant outlets all hooked up. So I got called out in the middle of the night at about two. I just got home and there's like northern lights so to see if we can get these on a time-lapse video they're just the most amazing thing ever Welcome back. It is a beautiful sunny day today and we are so excited because we are moving on to getting these bathroom floors done and getting some other things done in the bathrooms. Yesterday was a killer work day here. We got the ceiling fans installed and I think that just 
changed everything. It changed everything. It's just bringing new life to this place. And I was so excited about today that I barely slept last night, partially because I was so excited about what we've got going on today and partially because the Northern Lights were incredible. Yeah. So we've got Finley here today because she is done with school. She finished school, what was it? A month and five days. A month and five days early. So she's back. She's been already helping us out a bunch today. Had to clean up a little bit before we put these floors in. We've never done this type of flooring before. Yeah, so. we've always done tile. This is gonna be, of course, something new for us. Wish us luck. Yeah, according to the YouTube videos we've watched, it's pretty straightforward. So hopefully we can get it done without yeah, maybe we can have Too many problems. flushable toilet by the end of the day. That would be so awesome. Okay, you guys ready? That's what we're doing today. That's right. Okay, so this tile is like a vinyl click-in tile that has the pad already attached on it. The reason that we went with this stuff and not regular tile is because we're dealing with a transition from the floor leveling that we put in here into the existing floor. And this is as, as much as we could probably get away with. If we would have done tile, it would have been another eighth inch on top of that. So this is the first time we've ever done this type of floor. We're just gonna kind of wing it, but it seems pretty straightforward. All the videos we watch, it, you know, you just score it with a knife, it snaps. There's gonna be some tricky cuts right here that um, I'll probably have to do with my oscillating saw, but once we get this first row in, it should go pretty quick. It looks green from this angle. She paid you to say that. <laughs> How much is she paying you? Over here, it looks navy blue. Oh my goodness. Cut halfway through the front tile. Bend it over your knee like a disobedient child. And just like sheetrock, cut the other side. Before you take it out, show me what was wrong with it. What? <laughs> Floors are done. Water's off. Toilet about to be installed, right? Yeah, we gotta relieve pressure to the line there. Okay, so we realized that we didn't have this right supply line for the toilet. So instead of installing that in the main bathroom, we are just going to start installing the floor in this bathroom. This stuff is tough. Are you gonna do it again? He makes it look so easy. I have to go through it again. Okay, you wanna see how it's done? Yeah, I'm watching.
Well, how do you think it went? I think it went very well. And especially if you were dealing with a perfectly flat surface, it'd be really, really nice. Okay, so we just dropped Finley off at track practice. Luckily for us, there is this little hardware store right next to the school. So Ted just ran in to grab the supply line that we need to finish hooking up the toilet. This is what I had. This is what we need. All right. Let's go install it. Here we come. <laughs> Let's go I install turtle it. Turtle head of poke. <laughs> <laughs> was that supposed to happen? No. No, no, no. What do I need to get to get that out? Um, I'm not sure. We might have to go downstairs and see what we can do. You might be able to get your hand in there. Because no poop has ever been down there, right? Correct. Yeah, and you see it, it didn't go very far. Hold those. And it's just a 90. Ooh, breathe. I don't feel it. There's a cap at the end. We'll unscrew that and see if we can see in there and see if we can fish a, okay, like a wire in there. Yeah. And the flashlight. That's a good before. idea. We hook in and Before he's trying to walk yeah, I'm going to get a band-aid out. I'm bleeding. Okay, I'll wait a while. But we'll open that and see if we can see it, if it made it down to here. But i got to get a band-aid on. Yeah, you're bleeding. Bleeding. <laughs> so yeah, a little piece of plastic from the... It's like, it's a cap. So you just hit it with the hammer, hit the rim with the hammer, and then it just pops right off, but... It's uh, it didn't pop right off. It popped right in. <laughs> so I now I hit it in the wrong spot. Yeah. So now we're gonna just open that to see if we can get it. Okay. So we can see the piece. It's it's probably down about here. So I'm gonna use the electrical wire plastic retrieval snake hootus. <laughs> This is some precision sewer fishing right here. You got it. <laughs> Pull it up. Pull it up. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you? Oh, it smells lovely in here. I think there's no yeah in there. Too far. There it is. Okay. We got it. Now it's done. You are the master. Why is it wet? Sewage. Stop it. Seriously? Right in the washing hands. Hon, are you kidding? That's why you have clean out, folks. Maybe not for that specific reason, but. You came in handy, that's for sure. Now back to your pre pro. What is it? I can never say that. Now back to your regular scheduled program. What he said. So I'm just gonna leave my blood stains on there so people know that we put blood, sweat, and tears into this house. <laughs> okay, so we lesson learned for the next one that we do. You just really gotta whack it pretty hard. Stop it. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. You laughed. <laughs> and I know why you laughed. Because <laughs> you're funny? No, you're inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, they don't make the hole very big, do they? This is all the Europeans go to the bathroom. End of the day. Yeah, you just take the whole seat off, put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> I don't foresee myself taking that off, personally, because that's gross. <laughs> to clean it though? Yeah, ew. I don't want to touch that. Bathroom floors are done. And one toilet is installed. And one toilet. <laughs> you don't have to pee in a bucket.
par for the course. We didn't get as far as we thought we were going to today, but... This stuff is nice. This stuff is nice to work with. Mm -hmm. Okay, we just couldn't wait. We couldn't wait. Till tomorrow, so we... One last thing. We're just gonna do one last thing and then we're going home. <laughs> we're gonna put the vanity in that bathroom just to see what it looks like. But... Not gonna hook it up, just gonna set it where it's gonna be. I don't think we'll show you that though. Oh, that's so mean. This was done. I was already seen, I was tired. Oh my god. What if it doesn't fit? Oh, hopefully it does. Oh my gosh, wait. Hold on. My fingers are not here. Ah, oh, it's been a long day. Beep. <sighs> what? <laughs> what? Oh. All right, we're back again today and we were originally going to make you guys wait to see the vanity, but then we've just kind of thought that, well, we've drug you guys along for two months of boring drywall. And so we only thought it would be fair if we were able to show you guys. Yeah, I'm excited. It looks so good. It's, it's just crazy how just getting a toilet in a room changes it and the floor, it just, it, it's looking so good. So we're gonna hook up all the water lines. We got quick connects, super easy. Plumbing is so easy now if you just do a little research. And it, it's literally, I don't wanna say plug and play, but plug and plumb, plug and plumb. Plug and plumb. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. Yeah. It's a beautiful day today. It is a beautiful day. As you can see, the sun is beaming mm -hmm. in. It's wonderful. Okay, let's go drill the hole. You got it. I know this is for the other bathroom, but we are disconnecting the water for everything, so I might as well get this toilet hooked up as well. We're not gonna hook that toilet up because we still have to do tile in there, so we're gonna do the tile first and then do the toilet, so. This is it, don't get scared now. <laughs> What am I supposed to say? <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> You're so cute. Is it still hitting? Okay, send it. Oh my goodness, what is our malfunction today? You ready? Yes. Hallelujah. We got it. Whoop. Plug and plumb. Oh. Guesstimation, right? Don't cut it too short. Better go long than short. That's what she said. Okay. And you were giving me crap yesterday about having a dirty mind. You're rubbing off on me. <laughs> There, you can still see a little bit of it. Little tiny. We're just repeating the process on this bathroom. No leaks there? No leaks. No leaks. Just so that nothing falls in there. What kind of drill bit you use in there? Oh, you know, just what I had readily available. Drywall bit. <laughs> it's like our only good Phillips bit we have right now. So we, we originally had said that we were gonna get this bathroom up and running, get this vanity in, but as you can see, we ordered the wrong one. I ordered the wrong one. I didn't realize when I bought this vanity that it had the widespread faucet. So I um, 
just I have to reorder this and get the widespread faucet which should be here on the 27th along with the vanity light got a little ahead of myself put the cart before the horse because I'm just so excited but all this stuff should be here by the end yeah. of the week to get this bathroom finished you get a good idea of what it's going to look like so once we get the trim up once we get the light once we get the faucet once we get the floor vent in <sighs> then we'll be finished with this bath oh and get the door on so that's what we got done today we're going to move on to bigger and better things that's what we did today <laughs> and we're going to do more today we are going to do more today but that'll be on the next video yep the color of paint on this wall is sausage mander green <laughs> It'd be really nice to not have to pee in a bucket <laughs> anymore. We don't pee in buckets. I mean, to have to go to the gas station to pee every time. What did you just say? Getting on your black wall. That is not what you said. Must be that black wall. Green. Couldn't do it for like retirement. That sounds risky. A little easier to take that risk. Take what risk? Fried egg. Fried egg? Because what do we have at the house now? <gasps> a flushing toilet. <laughs> We're not putting this anywhere. 